Good morning, everyone. Can I please have a quick sound check before we begin? Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Out Loud Trading Room. My name is Anka Metcalf, and today's Wednesday, July 21st, 2021. Welcome, everyone. Let's start with earnings. They are the fuel behind the moves in the indices. Today, Coca-Cola reported earnings, Baker Hughes, Harley Davidson. Um, we had Verizon, Comerica, NASDAQ, Johnson & Johnson, some of the big names that have reported pre-market. And we have many more names that, have that will be reporting after the market closed, like Whirlpool, Las Vegas Sands, Discover, Texas Instruments, Equifax, Netgear, uh, Kinder Morgan, CSX, and more. Last night, we had earnings from Netflix. Netflix, really big company, um, into NASDAQ. And the earning results left the stock sideways, trading on support. $520 is support for it. So this is a really good example if today we're going to hold the $520, this is going to be very interesting to watch for tomorrow. And especially it may be a trade for next week. For those of you that do not trade stocks, it's a good watch. Because as we're gearing up for next week, next week we have a plethora of tech companies that will be reporting earnings. Let's dive into the calendar. And let's see what we have scheduled for the trading session today. At 10 o'clock, we have crude oil inventories. And this is pretty much going to be it. So you can see that oil is running before the numbers. Yesterday, I did point it out that we need to watch the four hour candle, how it closes. It triggered the four hour after making a new low here. We have the line in the sand. This is the minor support area. It's not a line. It's not at 66.56. No, it's the whole entire area. That's why it just balanced around. This is coming from this prior pivot high. When I'm talking about the minor support area, it is deriving from a prior pivot high. And take a look, it's back from May. So we have a pivot in May, pivot high in May, pivot low in May. And we are holding the area of the pivot high. You can see how we are retesting. Yesterday we had a doji, we went a little bit lower, but then we closed in a doji, we went higher and then we closed. Then we opened today. And we opened exactly into the minor support area to the T. Take a look at this area right here, 66, 66. And take a look at this area, 6666. The clue and the line in the sand was on the four hour. Yesterday, we had a four hour rotation. After diving a little bit lower, we had a four hour rotation, popped, and then it stabilized throughout the whole, throughout the whole entire night. That 6666 area, that 6650 uh, coil around, created a level of support for today's price action from which it popped higher. And then of course we had the breakout. We had the breakout from yesterday's range and we had the pop-up. We noticed the size of this candle as it was approaching the 20 simple moving average. It slowed down because we had a full throttle blowout here, breakout. And then as we were reaching this dynamic resistance into the 20 simple moving average, the price slowed down. You could see the size of the candle. So we had one candle that went from 70, from 0.70. So from 66.70 all the way to 68.20. And then we had a little baby candle here that decided which way we're gonna go. Because if we break down below 6770, there's a really strong chance that we're going to come in again. But we have triggered an initiation higher, and we can expect for the price to follow through all the way into the 70s again. So we do have oil inventory numbers at 1030. They're scheduled at 1030. 
and we're going to watch the price. We're going to watch the price. If we get a trade, I typically don't take trades ahead of oil inventory numbers. And there is no setup that is lining up on, um, on either of the time frames. So we're just going to continue on watching it. And if we get any calibration after the oil inventory numbers, we're going to take a look at it because it has a lot of room for the upside. This is, this is going to be a first target into the 69. And then we have a target into the 70. So it's going to be about a dollar move right here that we can expect from 69 to 70. Gold is back down into minor support. And it is still coiling around this dynamic support once again, this 20 SMA. So it came down in today's trading session. Today's down $11, close to $12, $11.70, 0.65% to the downside. No decision into gold. As long as gold on the daily chart, it will be trading in between the 200 simple moving average, the 50 simple moving average, which forms the cluster dynamic resistance. And because it is trading into support from this minor support level and also from this 20 SMA dynamic support, the price is not gonna go anywhere. The price needs to either break out or break down. That's, that's where the big money is. So they're waiting patiently either to break down or to break out. No trades in between. Let's take a look at the indices right now and they have recovered most of the losses from Monday. We have 173 points up in the Dow right now just before the open, two and a half minutes before the open. The S&P is up 12 points, 0.30%. We have Russell that is at 15 points, 0.68%. It is the most advanced index. It's getting ready for an hourly rotation, even though it has a 200 simple moving average right above it. That is going to create resistance. You can see this line right here. So that is resistance for price. Okay, here it is, just zoomed it in. Okay, so this is resistance for price. Typically any rotation, 2211 is going to be the breakout area, 2211 with room to progress higher into the 2216, room to progress higher into the 2220, 2226, and 2238. These are the targets. This is the game plan. This is support right here at 2200. If we break below this level, the next support area is 2184 and so on. We're going to take it one minute at a time. We also have NASDAQ that is weaker today. So, uh, Weaker NASDAQ, like I said, Netflix didn't really perform that well, uh, lost some subscribers. NASDAQ is down 20 points. That's not a big deal. That could be a bar on the five minute or the 15 minute. So it's mildly down, close to, I would say, a break even level. The only thing that it doesn't have in its favor right now is the fact that it has a lot of resistance in the overhead. Uh, the trigger from the one hour, which is into the 14,713, is right into the 10 EMA that is posing a lot of resistance. And so is the 20 SMA. It's creating tons of resistance. We need to see the price pop up above these moving averages and regain the pattern, regain the momentum. Because as you can see here, the overnight trading session forms support at 14,687. But what happened at seven o'clock, we had a little blip, violated the prior low. And we also have a lower high so we really don't know if this is the high, this is the lower high, this is the low, this is the lower low. If the price is going to violate the 14,667, we're gonna see a downward move, possibly into the 14,644, at which point we become bullish again. So it's much safer to wait for a pullback in this area than short it, because it's not gonna be probably longly lived. Okay, um, 
In S&P, we have a bullish above level of uh, 4338.5. If we break above this level, we're going to go higher. We also have resistance right below the trigger point into the 34, 34 and a half. And we need to digest this because the price came in, tested the area and came back down. Luckily for us, it's leaving some really cool footprints. The pattern, which forms because we have a little mini trigger on the one hour, right? You can see that this candle trading above the prior high. So it has initiated momentum. So we're having a higher low. So we have low, higher low, higher low, and we're having a little bit of higher low right here, so which means that we have more chances at this point, at this moment for a continuation higher than a rejection below. And same with the Dow, low, higher low, higher low, and a higher low. This is the more aggressive approach to the upside. You can see that it's also fighting the 200 SMA right here. So there are three indices that are a little bit stronger that rallied into the 200 simple moving average. Once the price gets above that 200 simple moving average, it will have the power to um, possibly stay above and continue higher. It needs to digest that 200 SMA. So once again, the Dow, the S&P and Russell need to stay above that. If they stay above that 200 SMA and this is going to be the pivot, we are going to start moving higher. I actually like these patterns a lot. Um, I actually like Russell. Russell is uh, getting ready for a rotation right now. The trigger point is 2211. Yeah, let's do this. 2211 rest along. The stop is going to be under 220, uh, 2200. 2211 rest along. Here it is. Triggered. So put the stop under the 2200. We don't want to put stops right at the whole number. That's a huge flag for these algos. The target is going to be targeted one is going to be 15, 2215. Then we're going to be looking for 2217 and a half. 2220. 2220 is going to be a big one. Twenty two twenty two and twenty two twenty five. And if we get in the last two targets by trailing. We're almost there. We're almost at target one. Here we go. Target one is hit. I took half off. I'm raising my stop to break even. Raise the stop to break even. We have 17 and a half for target two. 17 and a half for target two. And right now our stop is that break even? The break even is 2211. We're really coming in.
didn't have time to move these charts on the five minute. The plates were setting up off the major time frames off the one hour charts this morning. Much, much powerful, much, much, much more powerful. You can see that 2211, we lifted the stop and break even, not only because it's our break even. No, we lifted the stop because this is minor support for ongoing price action. You can see these resistance areas here, these pivots are forming support for ongoing price action. Now we need to break over this 17, okay? We need to break over 17. If we see a print of 17, we are going higher. The other indices are going higher as well. Russell was the most advanced index. The other indices are just catching up with price. We may have another trade. I really like YM. If we take YM, the trigger point is going to be 34,623 to 24. And the stop is going to have to be this 500 so we don't get wiggled out because look at the tails, look at the size of the tails, always evaluate the size of the tails because that will represent the wiggle. All right. We're two ticks away from target two and RTY. Keep your eyes on the price. I'm going to scale out another quarter and I'm going to leave the last slot for further trailing into targets, possibly into the 220, 222. 2222, 2225. We have a nice one minute sandwich. We have already triggered a two minute continuation. Awesome, Riaz. Good job. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Loving it. We may be lifting the price a little bit, maybe lifting the price a little bit. Look at our target at 17 and a half. There is a small, tiny resistance at 17 and a half, and that's why we have to target into that area. NASDAQ is trying to catch up. Another sandwich developing in RTY. If we get our 17 and a half, it's going to pop to 2220. If we get the pop, if we get the pop, we need to see our target hit 22, 17 and a half. And that is going to be the trigger for higher as well. All indices are holding. NASDAQ is recuperating, lifting 14 points up. I'm also keeping my eyes on Russell for a possible trail into 13. Possible trail 13. Keep your eyes on the prize. All right, come on 17 and a half. Nice base off of the one minute. Look at this, we break above, we move higher. If we violate the 13, I think we're gonna start coming in, but we still have uh, we still have this 10 EMA right here. So the price is trying to regain the Momo off of that 10 EMA. If you want to stay in the game a little longer, you could put your stop and break even. Little divergence here, little divergence. Uh, okay, so we have the first five minute, the second five minute candle with the low. Twelve point six. Um, I'm gonna put my stop at eleven, so I'm gonna keep eleven right now. I'm gonna keep that eleven. Break even. Break even. So I'm still in with half, still half in. 
See this 11 right here? Let's keep it 11. Okay, we may have a trade in the Dow. Why I'm lining up? Here's the trade in the Dow, long, 34,625. The stop needs to be under 34,500. Just give it a few ticks below, uh, below 500. We don't want to be detected by algos. We have target, 650, 670, 680, 700. NASDAQ pulling back. We need to really see how that closed on the one minute below this 10 EMA, not a good sign. We need to hold on HODL 10 EMA right here, HODL 10 EMA. See the five minute, five minute not happy, five minute wants to retrace. This is minor support. We're still gonna keep this. We're still into this with, a, uh, with half the size. All right. If we see a print, if we see a print of uh, 2215.1 in Russell, we're starting to go higher. Here it is. Boeing is very strong this morning, has regained the area above the 200 simple moving average. Home Depot with a mild gap up, pulling back a little bit, but still uber strong. Caterpillar moving higher. These are some of the Dow stocks. Also, Nike is into a daily rotation. AXP financials are strong. JP Morgan is strong. Morgan Stanley's pending breakout, massive breakout, over $94.30, 30, 30 to 35 cents. Uh, breakout. 3M very strong. Pfizer and Merck coming in. Bank of America is strong. Let's go, let's go. We have target to achieve in Russell. Scale some out. Scale some out. Uh, uh, YM made a high of 620. We have a uh, we have a trigger at 625. We have a new high in Russell 18. We are two points away from achieving target number three. It's gonna be a short trading day because we're gonna be gone. Uh, we're gonna be done soon. Okay, we are less than one point away from target number three at 22.20. Six ticks away. Two ticks away. Bingo. One more to go. I mean, two more to go. We have 22.22, 22.25, and at this point, trailing. Trailing only. There is a resistance area that is not present on. Oh, yeah, it is. Let me see. New York trading session charts resistance at 2220, 2224. This is 2222. All right. So 2222 to 2224 resistance.
NVIDIA daily rotation following yesterday's inside bar. NVIDIA split. So it's trading right now at $191.80. All right. We are one, literally one take away, one, one take away from the target at 22, 22, 22, which is target four. Target number four, 22.22. We hit a high of 22.21.9. We're heading into massive resistance, which is that the 22.23 to See how it's um it's really trying to knock this level out. This is a huge level, huge. I'm looking at the time, it's 9:47. We're gonna start trailing a little bit tighter in about 30 seconds. Awesome, Keith, rocking and rolling. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Four seconds, two, one. Trail right now is going to be Hold on, I'm, I'm having my cursor that is stuck here. Okay, all right, the trail stop is 19, 22, 19. Lift the stop, 22, 19. RTY trail. <laughs> Excuse me, 22, 19, trail stop. All right, YM, nice, 650 target one hit, half out. Bring the stop to break even and YM, bring the stop to break even and YM, YM stop to break even. Stop to break even YM, stop to break even YM. Next target in YM is 670. Right into this dotted line right into this dotted line. We need to stay strong, maintain the momentum. We have initiated two minute continuation. We are into this, whoop, 666, yikes. <laughs> Here's the 70. Target two hit. We're gonna start entering the trail phase. in one and a half minutes. We need to blast over that 70, 75. We need to blast it. If not, the price is gonna start coming in. Awesome, Riaz, awesome. I love earning season, guys. The, these six weeks are gonna be good. Have a feeling they're gonna be good. Awesome, 68 out. 
Yeah, it, it, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm I'm trying to hold this because I'm scaling out, scaling out, but we have um, about 45 minutes into a trail, 45 minutes, 45 seconds, I'm sorry, 45 seconds into the trail. We hit 50, we hit 70, I'm only one lot left. And we're gonna start trailing Russell as well. Russell is doing really well. We're gonna apply a trail in Russell very quickly now. Russell trail is still at 19. All right, let's keep YM the rest still at 25 because we have scaled down. We have made a lot of money on its way up and time to look again at Russell. Russell is delivering big, big time. We nailed it. We nailed Russell. Here's the 25 guys. This is the last target, but we're still into trail mode. Bring this stop, bring this stop up. Um, see, it's, it's holding a nice shelf into the 24. And I have that in the newer trading session chart. So I have that shelf at 24. We don't have it here. So that's just newer trading session charts. Um, you can see here 26. That is that absolute le target. Okay. <laughs> that is le target. If we break above this, we're continuing massively to the 38. Okay. Keep the stop and break even still in YM. We don't have any other trail that we can apply. Okay, so right now we're in trail mode and everything. YM needs to break above that dotted line. Do you see how uh, Russell did it? Well, now we need to do the same. And we're also entering another... Um, buy area in NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has a potential trigger into the 14,750. It's the laggard. It's the laggard. And it can potentially have a stop. I'm not going to do it, but it is a valid trade if you want to take it. 14,750 long. The stop is going to be 7, 14,710. And you're looking for a target all the way, you, you have a first target into 60, 65 to 67, and the next target is in, into 80. All right, come on, YM, break above the 70. We need to see a break above the 70. Russell, we are still in trail mode. Right now, Russell, let's, let's start trailing 23 and a half. Russell, 23 and a half. Russell, trail. Twenty three and a half, twenty two, twenty three and a half. Let's bring it up. That's the new trail. We need Dow to participate higher. We're getting into 10 o'clock. Remember, 10 o'clock is reversal time. We can expect some pullbacks going into the 10 o'clock. We have a 27.1 high in RTY, RTY, beautiful. Let's keep on trailing it. Twenty three fifty is a good trail in it. All right, we have a doji line in the sand. If we break above 71, Guess what? We're going to 80 and we're going to 700. If we violate this, we're going to be out. Remember, this is the last plot. New high in Russell. Bull flag formation in NASDAQ. NASDAQ, bull flag formation. 50. Possible entry if you want to take it. 
710 is the stop. Like I said, target into 65 and 780. All right, YM at 80. Do I see an 80 in YM? This is gorgeous. What a beautiful day. Love earning season. We should only have the trading room during earning season and the rest we should vacation. Three targets hit in YM. We have one more at 700. We're gonna start trailing a little bit. Oh, we can't do it. We can't do Russell yet, but we're approaching 10 o'clock reversal time. And I don't want to choke it too much. Here we, are, here we go, new high in RTY. NASDAQ is putting a fight into that dotted, dotted line. We're playing with fire. We're into reversal time. NASDAQ is getting rejected from that dotted line, but it's also, it's, there's nothing we can do about it. So here's what, here's what we can do at the most. Place this stop at 630, 630, five points higher than the break even. So why am trail? into the 34,630. The most we can do. We have to let it play out. It's taking a little bit longer. I'm glad that we picked Russell. We nailed Russell. Russell is the big winner. Okay. Sardar, good job. You are in NASDAQ. Look for a first target into 65. Okay, if you're very new to this room, I should tell you some secrets. Target one is the easiest target to achieve in trading. After target one, the price gets a little bit extended and it's more likely to pull back as you're progressing through targets. Target two, target three, they're a little bit more extended. So therefore, profits will be taken at those levels. If you have a very small account, it's really a good idea to chunk it in at target one or raise your stop as quickly as possible so you can chunk in profits. Get into the habit. If you're not into the habit of making money, consistently do your target one do your or after you see it beyond target one put your stop at target one so let it go so you can start trailing that's a little secret um and that is going to grow your account okay let's head into 30s we're extending we're we're actually literally trying to extend towards the 38 come on Dow. We're waiting on you. We're waiting on the Dow. We're going to start raising the stop because it is 10 o'clock top of the hour and we may be raising the stop in YM just now. We're gonna be raising the stop in YM. Give me one second. Let me see what the level is. Yes, 
Let's raise the stop to 45. Raise the stop to 45. Almost done, almost done on the day. I'm just like at the dentist, right? <laughs> it's like just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit more, okay? It won't be long, I promise, and pressure off. Okay, 6.45 trail stop, guys. It is 10 o'clock, it is, we're trading into reversal time. We can't expect pullbacks at this point. Russell, we're gonna start choking it. Let's start choking Russell here as well. Uh, let's bring the stop up to 27. RTY trail stop 27. Twenty-two twenty-seven. Russell lift the stop up 22.27. I know, Randy. <laughs> I was thinking about you when I said that. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Randy's a dentist, guys. <laughs> okay, so we are out. We're at YM, all right? And we're out Russell. Whew, pressure off, we're done. Guys, we're done. Those of you that are in NASDAQ, you're still in. Your stop at this point is still 710. So you should still be in. Randy, you're not alone. You're not the only dentist in here. <laughs> yeah, no way to, in getting into that oil. I know I'm looking at it as well. No entry in it. No entry in it. Let's just wait on NASDAQ here uh, for the members that are in. I'm not in NASDAQ, so I was just in these two in Wyoming and Russell. Like I said, I'm not going to take NASDAQ. Too much to handle. Um, it's not that, you know, I can't get in in multiple, but it's really hard. Like if you're having a big momentum or if they start reversing immediately, it's very hard for me to assess where I need to uh, put the trail stop and actually go into the active trader and move around my stops. I, I mean, it's not easy, but NASDAQ is setting up for a sandwich, beautiful sandwich. If NASDAQ is gonna start trading above 14,758, it's going to go higher. That's the big clue. And also here is sandwich as well in uh, the m and &E SMP, the market remains relatively strong. Remember that at 10 o'clock, we can't expect the pullback in the market. It is the first major reversal time in the market as part of the market rhythm. So we're seeing if we have extreme strength into the 10 o'clock, we can continue with the range. We can develop these ranges that may continue into 1030. And at which point at 1030, we could either have a pullback or a continuation higher based upon the pattern that the indices are trading in.
Nvidia very strong today. Google continuing higher. Amazon fighting the 20 SMA and minor support level uh, on the daily chart. And I did mention the 3600 level last week in Amazon. This is a level to watch. Netflix very weak, continuing lower. Twitter and Facebook are stronger, regaining some momentum. And by the way, natural gas, no trade in natural gas, but it's rocking and rolling to the upside. Just almost heading into that. It's actually four cents away uh, from the high that we had today into that $4 area. Had a high of $3.96. AMD, very strong. Very strong today. Uh, wheat topping, $700. If it starts breaking below $700, it's going to start coming down. Uh, corn is actually, this is actually the uh, one, two, three, four, fifth day. Uh, this is the fifth session in which is levitating into the highs, trying to punch over that 20 SMA. So it's trying to go higher a little bit. Uh, copper, just meandering, did a shakeout the other day when we had weakness into the market. Now it's actually trading a little bit higher, trigger the daily rotation. However, it's still below the 20 SMA. Oh, Lori, Neuro, no. I missed yesterday. So listen, these trades uh, in earnings season, these trades in futures are coming super strong, super strong and super fast. And I can't, I literally, I, I can't get into the, uh, into the stocks and into, <laughs> and into the futures. It is so mind boggling. I hate it. I hate it. I hate because I can't get in them. But Nero was like, oh my gosh. And it was on the run today as well. Let me just put it here. Uh, Chris, you got oil last night and couldn't figure out. Okay. Um, all right. L let's revisit. Let's visit, Lori, before we go into Nero, let's visit oil a little bit. Okay. So overnight trading people, those of you that trade overnight, there, uh, you should focus on the one hour and focus also on the um, four hour charts. So Chris, uh, don't forget to show up today um, into the, uh, at the um, uh, technical analysis mastery course, because this is what we're gonna talk about today. Um, all right, so uh, targets in oil, okay? So you can see that huge range, huge range. This is the breakout. All right, the 6770, you had these pivots. Whoops, what did I do? Hold on. All right, you had, you had these pivot points, right? Use these as your uh, guide and also look to the left-hand side. See here, you had a mini sandwich. It's consolidation. So your targeted one coincided with this. So you had a confluence level here into the 69. Plus you have the whole number. This would have been target one. And then here you have a little knot as well. You had a little sandwich. Okay. So here, let me see if I zoom, if I zoom it in, if you see it. Yeah. Okay. So this is number one at 69. You can see the sandwich. Here's the other sandwich into the very close to the 70. And here you have the swish down with the pivot. Okay, this is support, now it's resistance. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, what is that, Nero? I posted today on, on Twitter, Nero. <laughs> like I said it's bullish over $14. And again, I have to be in the trading room. <laughs> <laughs> so I missed it, right? Because when you're talking and trading and talking, you can't focus on all of them. But I did post this on Twitter for some that got it. Congratulations. Take a look at it. $14. I said it's bullish over $14. And it has room to 15, 16, and 18. And it's actually running at $25. Today, it is up 157%. Wowzers. These are momentum moves. Listen, when 
when I started day trading, because I was on the swing trading side, investing side, and when I started day trading, you would not have move like, moves like this. I would have killed for a move like this. Literally, we didn't have this. The market now is literally like uh, this, this lottery, like you're winning the lottery every single day. Every single day, there is a winner. I am not kidding you guys. This is how it feels like. And it has been like this for over a year. So over a year. I mean, we had a really good within the last four to five years because the market has really started to ramp up. We had volatility. This market was dead in volatility. 2016 and 17 were dead in volatility, even though in 2017, we went higher. But starting with 2018, we had the big shake and the market structure has changed. Guys, learning how to trade is like learning how to win the lottery every single month. I am not kidding you. I posted it on the public feed. Uh, let me show you. Hold on just one sec. All right, can you guys see my screen? All right. Here it is, here it is. I didn't get it, like I said, I didn't get it. I had to do so much work pre-market that I missed it. I totally missed it, but I posted in here. I know, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, you can't do it. At one point I was thinking maybe I should be off the mic because if I'm not talking, then I could focus a little bit more on charts. Yeah, but um, I'm telling you, like, there is an opportunity, like, if you're not in the market, if, you know, if you have never traded in your life, 2021 is your deadline. <laughs> 2021 is your deadline. You have to trade. You have to. There's no such thing as staying away from the market. Here it is. Setting a breakout over $14. Yeah. And if you look, um, so I do a lot of work pre-market, literally a lot of work pre-market. You can see it's trading at $14. This is the base breakout. This is your stop right here. So you have a really tight stop. You have a breakout right here. Okay. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. And here it is. All right, so we came out on my Benzinga scanner. And by the way, they're offering 50% off. They're offering 50% off. So you see Neuro right here and there were a bunch of other stocks. AMC came on as well. Oh my God, $30 in Neuro. Anyone else in this stock? N nobody? Oh gosh, okay. Um, let's go to... Okay. Um, yeah, of course. I I will post it. Just give me one sec. Okay. So if you guys want, I could walk you through Benzinga once again when on our quiet time or whatever. If you're ready to sign up for it, I could do a little presentation on it. So if you want to sign up, here it is. You get 40%, 50% actually, if you sign up for um, in July until the end of July. So you have next week as well. You get 50% 50 off the first month or quarter or year. Um, and um, by the way, if you want to test drive it, it's two weeks, no credit card required, no obligation, nothing. I'm getting all my trades from Benzinga. I'm telling you, I think I'm going to, uh, I mean, I'm still using trade ideas, but listen, they have introduced the, um, the stock, uh, the, um, oh gosh, what is it called? <sighs> Having, um, the short float. Okay. <laughs> okay. The short float. Okay. So now you have that as well. 
Okay, so that's pretty cool. All right, uh, one request for Netflix and then we could talk a little bit more. NFLX, Netflix. All right, Netflix is not loving. Netflix lost a lot of subscribers, okay? Netflix is still trading in a range. 450 is still support, still support on it. I mean, you can see that it has been trading into this range since July, all right? So it's probably going to stay in this range for some time. I think that if it's not going to get hooked in these moving averages here because it's still trading in the core of the range, so this is still support, okay? Um, it's going to probably go down, but then it's going to rotate and go back up. That's what it does. So give it a few days. Give it a few days. If you're having an overly um, robust market, even if Netflix did not perform well, the market is going to take it up with it. It's not going to, I mean, listen, people are still going to, uh, people are still going to go toward, towards Netflix. It's still a solid stock. I mean, it's not something that um it's devaluated still good still good yeah all right yeah sure i can show you just give me one sec all right here we go all right so just so you know, guys, please enable all panelists and attendees. Linda's asking, how did I find Euro? And like I said, can you see this? Can you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Okay. This is the scanner. This is in beta testing. The scanner is in beta testing. I absolutely love it. I love it. I don't think I can trade without it anymore because I'm getting my pre-market movers and I'm looking at the structure and it's just phenomenal. Take a look at all of these trade, trade ideas, guys. Over 200% euro, wowzers. CMI, LEXS, all of these MEDS, all of these stocks, by the way, all of these stocks came in before the market opened, before the market opened. Any five minute buy would have propelled you in the stratosphere. Take a look at CCL. Remember CCL, go on my uh, go on my Twitter, go on my public Twitter feed. And by the way, we're finally, I even forgot to mention this. <laughs> we're verified. We have that little nice check mark, right? Trade out loud is verified. Very hard to get the verified um, thing. Uh, do you enter trades? Absolutely, Bill, you can enter trades. For stocks that are very liquid, for example, like Miro was, or for the list, uh, let's see, the trade out loud. Here it is, profile, there we go. So for example, for example, uh, this is my pre-market. We only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the market was very liquid because if you're looking, for example, oh, not this one, okay. Because I was looking at my earnings. Okay, so here, when we when I looked at Miro, it was already up a uh, thirty five percent, right? So I looked at these stocks that were up, but I also have to match them with the pattern. And this one what had the best pattern. This one had the best pattern. But if you look at it, okay, this is where uh, this is when I found it at eight fifty one a.m. 850. And listen, it takes time. It takes a lot of time for me to trace the levels. These levels that you guys see on the charts, they're not automatically built. You cannot have that. You cannot have that. So there's a way to calculate them. You can't, you can't really do that. So uh, you have to, you have to trace them and it takes me about 20 minutes to do that. So once I'm getting busy with tracing, obviously I can't keep an eye on this. <laughs> Uh, which broker allows you to trade pre pre market? I use think I use Think or Swim TD Ameritrade TD Ameritrade. But I think like all brokers will allow you to trade pre market. Uh, Tasty Works, where are my Tasty Works traders? You guys, you guys can get in pre market, right? Tasty Trades, Tasty Works, something tasty. <laughs> okay, um, Trade Station as well. 
um, interactive brokers, all of these. Yeah. All right, uh, let's get back to charts. Those of you guys that are in NASDAQ, you're still in, you're still in. Okay, once you get above the 50, you can uh, raise your stop up, raise your stop to 23, raise the stop to 23, 23, 22, 23, that's it. All right, and we're trying to base here a little bit. Uh, as you can see, the 15 minute has rotated. Remember what I said that 10 o'clock, represents the reversal time, okay? Uh, we can possibly have a rotation again uh, in um, RTY and possibly even in, uh, yes, possibly in ES as well. Let's take this CL down here. All right, let's take a quick look at the 15 minute. All right, so don't forget that we have oil inventory numbers in less than 10 minutes, okay? Yeah, it pulled back to minor support, Chris. Yeah, and guys, I'm literally done for today. I'm done. I'm done for today. Okay, any questions? Any questions? Now, this time around, for those of you that are in NASDAQ, when the uh, when the index, I was going to say when the stock, okay, when the index is going to try to get over 60, put your stop and break even, okay, over 60, put your stop and break even, you don't want to um, give anything back, you want to have like a massive green day on everything, okay, all right, uh, since the NVIDIA split, what is the outlook, great question, Odell, so let's put it up, NVIDIA. All right, so let's get to the two minute here, okay? NVIDIA is still gonna go up. NVIDIA became a lot more affordable this time. I think it's gonna go through a little bit of calibration, but it's still going to go up. NVIDIA is still higher. NVIDIA is still NVIDIA, regardless of you know the stock split. Um, hey, Paul, on NASDAQ, do I move this? Yes, yes, right now, move the stop, move the stop. See this pivot here at 24, move it to 23. We need to see it well above the 60. When we see it above the 60, in fact, you know what? Yeah, let me see smaller time frames. It needs to start engaging over 60. So we need to see it over 60. Over 60, you can reduce the stop to 50 because if it's trading over 60, it's going to start going to 70 and 70. 65 was our first target, but we didn't get there. So first of all, we need to get it now over 60. And if this bottom of the candle is going to be over 50, then 50 is going to hold. So that will make a really good uh, trail stop for it. Of course. You have a minute and a half until you are going to bring your stop up. I think I need to start my trading date. But see, here's the thing. The problem is that all of these trades and all of these ideas, guess what? They're coming out around nine o'clock. That is when they start to become a lot more active. So I can wake up at five o'clock or six o'clock in the morning because I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be seeing anything. So it, I have to do all this work <laughs> in literally 15 minutes <laughs> before I come on the mic. Okay, uh, put the stop 750 break even, Paul, and everybody else that is in NASDAQ. NASDAQ stop break even right now because it has punched over 60, one point away from the target at 65. One point away from target at 65. And we're getting just nice ranges overall in the Dow, the S&P and RTY, not bad, not bad ranges. And I have a feeling, I have a very strong feeling right now that Laurie is in Russell. 
Am I right or wrong? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? <laughs> hey, Ashley, awesome. <laughs> All right, yeah, hearts. Of course she is, negative yardage. Ashley taking profits, three green trades today. Yay, thanks, you're so welcome. Okay, so you can see that this top two minute time se sequence has a ended. You do not want to see the trade below 50. You do not want to see the trade below 50, okay? You want to make sure that it's grinding, grinding, grinding higher. That's it, period. Okay. Uh, Doji forming in YM. Like I said, I'm done, guys. I'm literally done. We have three massive good trades uh, that were cold in the room. I mean, this was just a really good day. You don't want to force it. You really don't want to force it. And three minutes to oil inventory numbers. I just want to see how oil inventory numbers are trading. And by the way, tomorrow at 8.30, we have unemployment claims. And then we have um, at 10 o'clock, we, we have the CB lending index and existing home sales. And we have the natural gas storage at 10.30. So the mover, the shake and bake, here it is, 65 target one. 65 target one, take half out. Um, if not, you can actually raise the stop. Let me give you a trail stop, a tighter trail stop in case you don't want to give anything back and NASDAQ. Okay. So everybody that is in NASDAQ, and by the way, the 15 minute has a really nice massive sandwich. It looks like it really wants to go into the 70 and 73, 70, 73, 75. These are the next targets. Uh, if you want to maintain, and if you still want to stay in, your trail stop right now should be 55 to 56. 55 to 56. 50, I would do 56. Paul, fantastic. Fantastic. Out at 65, fantastic. All right, NASDAQ. Uh, NASDAQ, like I said, if you still want to stay in, I would trail 56. Four further targets. Target one was hit half out. Trail stop 56 right now. And then we have a doji here. We have resistance here, 670. The doji, the high is 648. So that means that you could have a trigger at 650. If it gets over 650, it's going to go to 670. So it's going to go for 20 points. Uh, the stop is going to have to be under this purple line, which is the 614. Uh, Russell is becoming divergent. And NASDAQ. Like I said, NASDAQ trail stop is 56. If 56 is going to hold into the next 30 seconds, you may have, okay, here it is, 56 and done. Boom, that's it, guys. This is it for today. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you guys here, same place, same time tomorrow for another round. <laughs> hey, Ashley, we're done. We're done. We, are, we were actually done half an hour ago. Okay, thanks, Randy. And Randy emailed me and, um, you know, he brought up a thing uh, that we'd have discussed, like we need to do an outing guys. We need to do an outing. Um, I think that most likely, I literally don't have the time this summer, but let's do it fall. Let's do it this fall. Let's do it like, do you think it's better before Thanksgiving's or after Thanksgiving's? Yeah, like I'm thinking Florida. I'm thinking like Florida. Like we should definitely do an outing before, before October, 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 end of October.
Okay. Do you want to, do you guys want to do like the Miami area or do you guys want to do the Naples area? We have a, we have a representative in Naples that can help us with some, uh, uh, with some ideas. Naples, Randy's for Naples. Randy's for Naples. Randy's vo voting Naples. What do you guys, what do you guys want? Do you guys want like, Na oh my gosh, everybody wants Naples. Paul. <laughs> okay. Naples it is. Okay. Either. Okay. No matter alligators, <laughs> alligators for party favors. Okay. I'm going to look into it and see if we can find something. I actually, um, but I, I'm going to look for the Naples area. We could do both. It's only two and a half hours away, Ashley. We could do both. We could do both. I could draw, I, so I have the car. I can fit another three people in my car. So we could, we could just, you know, <laughs> squeeze into a, a few vehicles and we can uh, drive to the, <laughs> uh, drive to the Atlantic side as well. I found a resort. I have no, I, I've never been there. So uh, I need to see how it is. Uh, but believe it or not, I've been there for so long. And there's this Club Med. Club Med. Uh, SLV popping. I'm going to take a look at it in a sec. Uh, there's Club Med. I think it's in Port St. Lucie or something. Okay. Um, SLV. SLV is on my super watch list. So two minute rotation here, guys. Those of you that are day trading, two minute rotation. Randy has it probably as a swing. Okay, daily rotation as well. This is a short squeeze, guys. This is a short squeeze. Randy hit it again. So by the way, Randy posted this SLV before we opened. Look at the green. So he posted this like an hour ago. Okay, so... The high is 23.35, it's right here. This is the trigger for the short squeeze into 23.60 to All right, uh, let me send you guys the link. This was the one that I was kind of like thinking about, the Club Med. Um, I think it's like, I think it's like 20 minutes from, from Palm Beach North, okay? So it's like all inclusive. This is all inclusive, okay? But I'm gonna look in Naples and Paul, if you have any ideas for the Naples side, let me know. All right. Uh, yeah, this is a great call, Randy, in SLV. Like I said, it has room to short squeeze. Has room to short squeeze. All right. Any other questions, guys? All right. This is a wrap. I will see you guys in here tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a great rest of the day. It was a fantastic day today. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a have a great rest of the day, everyone. Bye.